Hi everyone, welcome to another exciting video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create interior pages for your KDP notebook using PowerPoint. Before we get started, be sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel. Open PowerPoint and create a blank presentation. Now the dimensions of our notebook is 6x9, so go to design and slide size, then custom slide size. Now we can only use centimeters in PowerPoint, so we need to convert the inches to centimeters. So open your converter. So we'll start with the 6, it gives us 15.24 centimeters. Enter this into PowerPoint. 15.24 centimeters. Then we'll convert the 9. 22.86 centimeters. Twenty-two point eight six centimeters. Then press OK. Then maximize. As you can see, the document has changed shape. Now we need to delete all the text boxes in this document. Then go to insert. Click on shapes and then the rectangle. Click and drag from one edge of the screen to the other like shown on the screen. Then under the format tab, go to shape fill and choose a lighter blue. Go to shape outline, then no outline. Okay. And then hold, hold it down, control and shift, click and drag the shape to duplicate and move it to the bottom of the screen. I'm not going to choose another color. Go to shape fill under the format tab and more colors. Then custom and we're going to choose a pinkish color. Uh, press OK. And we're going to shape fill again. Gradient. And we're going to choose Linear up. We we'll select the top shape again. Go to gradient and choose linear down. Just like that. Now we need to draw the lines. So we'll go back to the insert tab. Under the shapes menu, choose line. Then while holding that shift, draw a line from one edge to the other. Okay, go to shape outline and choose the black color and we, and we need to increase the weight. So choose one and a half points. Select the line while holding down control and shift duplicate. Select the two lines, hold down control and shift, and move them. Select these lines again. Duplicate. Select all the lines again, control and shift. Move it. Okay. Now, as you can see, some of the lines don't have an even space between them. So we are going to select all the lines like this and then go to arrange, align, 
and then distribute vertically. You can also go to the Format tab and then Align and then Distribute Vertically. It has created even spaces between the lines. Alright. Now zoom in. Go to the bottom shape. Go back to Insert again. Shapes. Choose the Over shape. We need to create a circle. So hold down shift and click and drag to create a perfect circle. Just like that. And position it in the middle. Like that. Then go to shape fill under the format tab and choose no fill. Then right click the circle. Select the circle first. Right click it, then edit text. We need to add a number inside the circle. One. We may want to create multiple pages that goes to three digits. So we need to we need to fit three digits in this circle. So as you can see, three digits don't fit. So we need to reduce the font size. Go to the home tab and reduce the font size. Board them. And change the color to black. We need to wrap the circle with the design. I'm going to provide a link to this image. Resize it. Wrap it around the circle. Just like that. Then right click the shape. Send to back. Send backward. Right click uh, the circle. Shape outline. No outline. Then zoom out. Now we need to decorate the top part with some text. Go to Insert, Text Box, click and then add the text, then add the date. Just the font and choose another font. I'm going to go with Fort. Just like that. Okay. Then go back to the inside tab again. Add another text box. And write thoughts or my thoughts. And choose the same font again and position it inside here. Okay, reduce the font. Okay, and just like that, we have our interior. Now, if you want to create multiple pages, you need to duplicate the slide. So, click on the slide and 
hold down control and D to duplicate. And you can do this multiple times. Create any pages as you want. So now we need to change the number system for our pages. So for this one, this is page one. Page one, we're going to page two. Then add the two. We are done. Now as you can see, I've manually added all the numbers to the pages. So now if you want to save our KDP notebook, go to File, Save Us, and choose your location. And name it. And the file type, choose PDF. And choose standard, publishing online and printing. Now, here is our notebook ready for Amazon KDP. Thank you guys for watching. Which other videos would you like to see on the channel? Please remember to like this video and subscribe and share your comments in the comment section down below.